Hi guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my Kawaii World. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing some different Korean sunscreens. And I'm going to be talking about sunscreens for all different skin types, so hopefully you can walk away from this video with some good product recommendations. And just a disclaimer, I am not an expert. This is wholly based on my own personal opinion and my understanding of the research that's out there. So before we get into the reviews, let's talk about some of the different things that we're considering. There are two different types of harmful rays that are emitted from the sun. UVB rays and UVA. UVB rays are known for causing sunburns and skin cancer, while UVA rays are known for causing premature aging because they penetrate more deeply into the skin and destroy collagen, which causes our skin to lose elasticity and firmness. So we wanna make sure that we're blocking both types of rays and the SPF level will indicate the level of protection from UVB rays, while the PA level will indicate the level of protection from UVA rays. All of the sunscreens that I'm going to be reviewing in this video have the same SPF and PA protection, which is SPF 50 and PA++++. So let's talk about the two types of sunscreens. Physical sunscreens will sit on top of your skin and form a barrier and reflect any UVA or UVB rays that hit it. It doesn't actually penetrate into your skin, so it won't clog your pores, and this is probably well suited to people who have acne or sensitive skin. Also, it comes off pretty easily, so reapplication is really important. The main ingredients in physical sunscreen will either be zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. These tend to leave a white film on your skin or a white cast. However, a lot of companies have been able to formulate their sunscreens in a way that really minimizes the white cast, but instead tones up or brightens your skin. However, the white cast is kind of unavoidable when you're using physical sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens are a little bit different because they actually penetrate into your skin and they absorb the UV rays and convert them into heat, which is then dispersed. These sunscreens are really pleasant to use. They go on like a moisturizer, they're not sticky, and they don't leave a white cast. Also, they blend in really well with other makeup and skincare products. However, sometimes these chemicals can cause irritation and if you have oily skin, you might find that these sunscreens leave you too greasy by the end of the day. Anyway, let's go ahead and start reviewing some sunscreens. This is the Rovectin Aqua Soothing UV Protector with SPF 50 PA++++. And I received this for free from Rovectin to review. This is a mineral sunscreen that uses zinc oxide and titanium dioxide to block out the sun's rays. It contains niacinamide or vitamin B3, which is supposed to help minimize enlarged pores, improve uneven skin tone, soften fine lines and wrinkles, and also help repair your skin barrier. It contains adenosine, which is a skin restoring agent, tocopherol or vitamin E, which has antioxidant properties, as well as centella asiatica, which has antioxidant properties and is also very soothing. However, it does contain lavender oil, so if you are sensitive to that, then you may want to avoid this product. So personally, my skin type is dry and I found that by the end of the day, my skin was just so parched. Even though I kept on spritzing essences and mists on my face throughout the day, it still remained really dry and it was kind of sensitive at the end of the day. So I would not recommend this for dry skin types. However, if you do have oily skin, then this might work for you. The texture of the sunscreen, as you can see, is really creamy. It takes some effort to blend it into your skin, so I wouldn't recommend globbing it on like I did. You probably want to apply it bit by bit and layer it. It does leave a slight white cast, but on me, it wasn't too noticeable. And the finish of this is very matte and smooth. So if you have oily skin, then this is definitely something that you might enjoy. This is a Claire's Midday Blue UV Shield with SPF 50 PA++++. I received this product for free from Claire's to review. This is a physical sunscreen and it contains zinc oxide and titanium dioxide which protect your skin against UVA and UVB rays. It contains guaiazoline which gives it a slight blue color and I think that this is so gorgeous. Clara says that this has a natural tone up effect, which means that it's supposed to clarify your skin tone by balancing it and brightening it. And it definitely has a slight tone up effect. 
The finish is really matte, which for me can be a little bit drying, but it's tolerable if you can hydrate your skin really well underneath the sunscreen. If you have oily skin, I think this would be a great summer sunscreen. It glides on really smoothly, but it takes a little bit of work to blend it into your skin. The thing about this sunscreen is that I don't feel like it ever really sank into my skin. It basically sits on top of your skin and acts like a shield or a film. I did not experience any pilling with the sunscreen. And the other thing is that this sunscreen smells like corn. On Claire's website, they say that this contains fragrance because the natural scent is kind of unpleasant, so they masked it with an allergen-free fragrance. Round Around Green Tea Sika Sun Lotion with SPF 50 Plus PA++++. Round Around is a skincare brand that was developed by Olive Young in 2015. I recently purchased this from Olive Young because it was on sale and it had this little award sticker on it. This is a physical sunscreen. It contains titanium dioxide, but not zinc oxide. Titanium dioxide doesn't rank as high as zinc oxide for UVA protection. I read somewhere that the difference in protection ends up being really small, but I'm not an expert, so I don't really know what to make of this. This is a physical sunscreen, but it feels like a lotion. It's not oily or sticky. It has a slight tone up or brightening effect, and there is a slight white cast, but in my case, it went away after a little while. Also, this washes off well with cleanser. I think this is a great physical sunscreen for people with dry skin. I kind of like this because it has a slight cooling sensation when you put it on, which comes from green tea water and mint. And this also contains Centella Asiatica extract, which has antioxidant properties and is supposed to be really good for your skin. This does contain quite a few essential oils like bergamot oil, orange oil, lavender oil. So if you're sensitive to those kinds of things, then you might want to avoid this. Dr. G's Green Mild Up Sun Plus with SPF 50 Plus and PA++++. This sunscreen is a physical sunscreen that contains zinc oxide as an active ingredient. So we have the full range of protection as opposed to just having titanium dioxide. This contains Hotunia Cordata extract, which has antioxidant properties, tocopherol and Centella Asiatica. I didn't see any essential oils on the ingredients list, which is nice. I like this sun cream because the texture is very much like lotion. It makes for a nice makeup base. The finish is semi-matte and it's very smooth and natural looking. It's not quite dewy, but it's not matte either. This does have a slight white cast or tone up effect, but on my skin tone, it's not too noticeable. On my skin, which is dry, this is actually a little bit drying, but I think out of all the physical sunscreens, I like this one best. The Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence with SPF 50 PA++++. This is a chemical sunscreen with an active ingredient of ethylhexyl triazone. And this has been approved for use in the EU, which has really strict guidelines. It has not yet been reviewed by the FDA. It blocks UVB, but not UVA. However, this also contains another ingredient, which I'm not going to try to pronounce. I'll just lay it over on the screen and that absorbs UVA. This contains nourishing ingredients like sea buckthorn oil, which has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, chamomile extract, and tocopherol, which has antioxidant properties as well. Some people say that this has a fragrance, but to me, I really don't smell anything. It just has a light, fresh scent. I really love the sunscreen. It goes on like a moisturizer. There's no white cast and it absorbs so well into your skin. So if you have dry skin, then I highly recommend this sunscreen. But if you have oily skin, you might find it too greasy by the end of the day. This sunscreen is just so pleasant to use. It's not sticky at all and it's really light and fresh. However, it's not waterproof, so you definitely want to keep that in mind if you're going to the beach or the pool. 
This is the Costa Rex Aloe Soothing Sun Cream and it used to be one of my favorite sunscreens. However, lately I've been taking a closer look at the ingredients of the products I'm using and I also noticed this trend in Korean sunscreens, but they're starting to cut out the use of ethyluxyl methoxinamate or octanoxate, which has been found to be an endocrine disruptor in animals. However, keep in mind that the animals were also exposed to very high levels of the chemical, which is typically not found outside of a laboratory setting. Ethylexyl methoxinamate has also been known to be harmful to the environment because it contributes to coral bleaching, and Hawaii has recently banned the use of this in sunscreens. Also, Korea, Canada, Japan, and the European Union have placed limits on how much of this a product can contain, although the US FDA has not yet reviewed anything or placed any restrictions on this product. I'm really sad about this because I actually really love the sunscreen and I have three or four boxes sitting in my stash waiting to be used, but I'm just going to continue using it until it runs out and then start purchasing other brands. For my kids, we are using the Shushu and Sassy Bibiette Sunstick with SPF 50 PA++++, which we received for free from Shushu and Sassy to review. This is a physical sunscreen that you just roll onto your face like deodorant. Prior to this, we had been using sun cushions or regular sunscreens. However, my kids are really into this roll-on type of sunscreen. They enjoy applying it on their own and it doesn't irritate their skin. And prior to this, Valentina would always complain whenever I put sunscreen on her face. I think generally this brand is super adorable and I really love it. And the sunscreen is no exception. The active ingredient in the sunscreen is zinc oxide. Since my kids like the Shushu and Sassy sunscreen so much, I decided to pick up this outdoor sunstick by Atopalm last time I was at Olive Young. This one is also rated SPF 50 and PA++++, and my kids have also liked this. The active ingredient in this is titanium dioxide, which has slightly less UV protection than zinc oxide. The shape is a little bit different, so it goes on a little bit more nicely when you put it on your face and body, and it has a light citrus scent. Both of these sun sticks are non-sticky, lightweight, and really easy to apply, so I think they're great for kids as well as adults. Make sure to check out these videos right here if you want to see more K-Beauty and skincare videos, and I want to give a big thank you and shout out to all of my Patreons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel, and let me know in the comments what your favorite sunscreen is, and if there's anything in this video that I missed. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!